Thank you, Ms. Lyon, and I apologize again for aging you prematurely. Uh, it's my pleasure now to introduce our mayor, Mayor Kasim Reed, who is a, a great friend of the business community. Uh, he is halfway through his first term, and we're anxiously looking for his second term in office. I think you'll hear from him about what this city is all about. He is a, a national leader as well as the mayor of our city. He is the chair, chair of the Transportation and Communication Committee of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, of all mayors in, in America. He also has been a key leader in regional transportation in Metro Atlanta and helping us find ways of investing almost $7 billion in our transportation infrastructure with a referendum coming up this summer. Uh, his leadership and civic roles have been recognized in Meet the Press, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, and most recently, Governing Magazine, which is the publication of local and state elected officials put him on the cover as the most outstanding mayor in America. So we're very, very proud of his roles uh, here in our city. He also uniquely, as a Democratic mayor, reaches across the aisle and works with our Republican governor in helping ensure federal assistance to our state, like the deepening of the Port of Savannah. Uh, he is a very good friend to business. We have a very good communication and open line, and it's my honor to introduce our mayor, Kasim Reed. Good morning. Sam, thank you for that kind introduction, and more importantly, thank you for the friendship uh, you provide. Uh, I want to welcome every single person who is here this morning to the city of Atlanta, to all of the excellencies, ministers, governors, and all honored guests from Saudi Arabia and the United States. You really do honor us by your presence in our city today. I am particularly pleased that His Excellency Abdullah al uh, the Minister of Commerce and Industry for Saudi Arabia is here, and we had a wonderful dinner last night, and I really enjoyed myself. I believe that the enthusiasm uh, that occurred during our initial visit uh, really will spill over the next three days that we have in the city of Atlanta. I would also like to thank Lubna Aleon. It was so nice to have dinner with you uh, last night as well for being here uh, today. I really believe that this is the beginning of the continuation of what I think is going to be a special relationship. But I'm here today to focus on the city of Atlanta. The city of Atlanta is the home of more than 15 Fortune 500 companies in the United States of America. We have the largest single passenger airport in the United States of America, handling almost 90 million passengers a year. Uh, some of the companies that call Atlanta home include uh, the Coca-Cola Company, CNN, and of course, Delta Airlines. I wanted to be here today because I value this relationship. My political mentor is a man named Ambassador Andrew Young, uh, who had more than a 50-year history of relationships with Saudi Arabia and across the Middle East. The point is, is that I believe that Atlanta is a very good potential home for your business, where there is mutual respect and appreciation. Because our city has a long history of being a place that embraces diversity, that respects diversity, and really has been open to all people. That's why we literally have been the cradle of the civil and human rights movement in the city of Atlanta. I think that's important to you because people, all other things being equal, do business with those individuals who respect them and who they like. We also have a large cadre of students from Saudi Arabia at Georgia Tech and at Emory. The Centers for Disease Control is here in the city of Atlanta. And with the $1.5 billion international terminal that we're building at Hartsville-Jackson, we're also going to be able to get you home. Because I believe that in the future, people will want to be able to access their businesses, check in on the investments that they're making, and then be able to get back home in an efficient manner. 
I really believe that that is the future of the world. Atlanta is ready to be interconnected. Atlanta is ready to have a mutual relationship that is based on respect, that is based on excellence, and that is based on productivity. And already I can tell, beginning with my dinner from last night, that it's very clear that Saudi Arabia is so much more than a country that is based upon your energy exports. In the end of the day, Saudi Arabia is clearly moving towards a knowledge economy, and we want to be your partners in that effort. We have expanded our air cargo capability, connecting through Qatar Airlines uh, in the Middle East, and so we are doing the fundamental things to make sure that if you all make the decision to invest capital in the city of Atlanta, that it will be well cared for. And when you're here conducting your business with partners on our side of the aisle, that you're going to enjoy your time in the city of Atlanta. I am pleased to be here with Prince Faisal bin Abdullah Al Saad. I had the pleasure of sitting with him at dinner last night, and I literally could have talked to him all night because he has a passion for education. And I look forward to learning more from him uh, today. And I also hope that, he, hope that he will look at what we're doing at Georgia Tech and at Emory and at CDC and that there is a constant exchange. I'm also pleased that Dr. Abdullah al Rabia is here, the Minister of Health for Saudi Arabia. Once again, the partnership with the CDC I think could be very beneficial as well as a partnership uh, with Emory University. All of these exchanges are going to occur over the next three days in the city of Atlanta. I believe that we now have more than 1,000 people who are in attendance at this conference. And being a mayor who's pretty competitive, uh, I think that we exceeded the number of people who participated in Chicago. So I'm getting ready to call Rahm Emanuel and brag a bit. <laughs> The bottom line is this. I hope that you feel our warmth. I hope that you feel our sincerity. We are a place of hardworking, honest people who understand the value of a strong relationship with a great nation that is the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Welcome to our city.